Good morning. It's Kids Craft Tuesday, and I'm so excited about it today. I've got my friend Clifford. I just gave him a big hug. Oh, because <laughs> sometimes I miss my friends, and I just want to hug them. So Clifford helps me give hugs. He's going to sit right here. Have you ever heard of process art? We're going to do process art. It is about the process. This style of art does not, it just doesn't matter the, about the end result. We are focusing on the process. We are not following a template. We are not following any sort of example. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want. All you need is your medium, and that is the supplies you're gonna be working with, and you need a canvas. And that could be anything, really. I have a paper plate here and some paper and just some scrappy doodles. This is a fun time to just pull out everything you have um, or go searching around your house to find different things to work with. You could use little foam egg carton things. I've got some buttons here. I collect buttons, did you know that? I love buttons. I've got some buttons here. Okay, a few things about process art. Number one, you cannot be upset about the end result. It's not about that. Like I said before, it's about using your hands and practicing cutting with your scissors and tearing paper and problem solving. Did you know that this art style helps you become a better thinker? It does because you have to problem solve and you have to ask questions about what you're doing. So it's really good and I really enjoy it. I've started here with my uh, canvas. I've used the paper plate for my canvas. I've got some glue and I just, I feel like tearing paper today. So I've been tearing up some paper and just been plopping it on there. I'm probably gonna fill that all the way up and then I'm gonna put some buttons. I wanna put some buttons on this string right here. I made a couple holes in my plate. So let's see if I can find a button that will go on my string. And it seems like I've run into a problem. My string is too thick and my buttonhole is too small. So I can either keep searching for a button that will fit, that I like, or I can find another way to attach my buttons. I think what I'm gonna do is just roll my string around my finger like this. Okay, and I'm gonna tape it down. Tape down my string. I like that. And I'll have to problem solve this. I may have to find another string or just attach it with some tacky glue. One thing that my mom used to do when I was a kid, um, it's, we called it doodling. She would use a piece of paper like this or notebook paper, lined paper. She would use a pencil. I'm gonna use a marker today just so that you guys can see it. And she would just start scribbling all over the paper from side to side. Actually, she didn't pick up her pen. She just kept going and just all over, I mean, t until she felt good about stopping. And this is really full. I don't know if I, <laughs> okay. And then she would hand it to us and she would say, okay, tell me what you see. You can look at it from this side from this side, from all sides. Tell me what you see. Hold it back, hold it close. I did one this morning and I found, this is a car. You see my car? <laughs> and so I just outlined my car with my markers and I filled in all the spots. I also found a heart. I'm gonna go in here and color all of the smaller pieces of that heart. This might be better for older children and some of you adults may enjoy it. I've really enjoyed it. It helps me just focus and breathe 
and just bake a little bit. So I hope that you will enjoy process art. Don't worry about the outcome. Just have fun with it. Have a happy crafting day. Bye-bye.